Hello, and welcome to an explanation of how DD Scientific electrochemical lead oxygen sensors work. Let us start with an overview of what is inside the sensor. The sensor is essentially a sealed box, but with a small hole at the top called a capillary, which allows oxygen to enter the sensor. Within the sensor, there are two electrodes. At the top is a sensing electrode, manufactured from an electroactive metal catalyst, which performs the first chemical reaction. Countering the sensing electrode is a counter electrode known as the anode, which is metallic lead. Connecting the two electrodes to the external pins are highly conductive wires which are called current collectors. The sensor is also filled with a conductive alkaline liquid called the electrolyte. In addition, the sensor includes an insulator material to prevent the electrodes and current collectors from shorting out. For the sensor to work, the pins need to be connected across an external load, such as a resistor, which allows the current generated to be measured. When the sensor is in use, oxygen molecules diffuse into the sensor via the capillary, where they encounter the sensing electrode. On the surface of the sensing electrode, the oxygen molecules in the presence of water molecules and electrons are reduced to hydroxyl ions, which is soluble in the alkaline electrolyte. We will see later in the video where these electrons are coming from. The hydroxyl ions migrate through the electrolyte down to the lead anode. The lead atoms in the anode are oxidized by the hydroxyl ions to form lead oxide, and this chemical reaction generates electrons and liquid water molecules. The electrons which are produced at the anode travel along one current collector, through the external load and across the other current collector, making them available for the reduction reaction happening at the sensing electrode. Thus, inside the sensor, two chemical reactions are happening simultaneously. At the sensing electrode, oxygen is being reduced in the presence of electrons and water to produce hydroxyl ions. At the anode, lead is being oxidized to lead oxide, forming water and electrons. Since all of the water and electrons produced at the anode are consumed at the sensing electrode, the net, or overall reaction, is oxidation of lead to lead oxide by oxygen molecules. The current flow produced by the sensor when passed through a load generates a potential difference or voltage across that load. The measured voltage will be proportional to the ambient oxygen concentration. If the oxygen concentration decreases, then so will the current flow and hence the voltage. Conversely, if the oxygen concentration increases, so will the measured voltage. If no external load is applied to the sensor, then the two electrodes are not connected and the chemical reactions cannot take place. If this is the case, no lead is being consumed and the working life of the oxygen sensor is preserved.